Jan Bernakovic here at the Kromaterhof, 1100 meters above sea level in Austria. This is Sepholter's farm. It's now being managed by his son Joseph. Brilliant place, incredible diversity, completely terrace slope, um, around 70 ponds, more fruit trees than you can count, and some really ingenious ways to preserve and store food. This is called an earth cellar. An earth cellar that's been used and has been burned directly into the back of the bank. has been used with rocks and wood and on the outside. And you can see that some native pollinator habitat has been created. So these are uh, straw mats that have been cut and rolled up and then clay has been used to chink up the, uh, the spaces. Plain design but very functional. Interesting, interesting piece about the locking mechanism here. So, if you're ever worried about thieves, basically this locking mechanism pushes out, and once you've locked the door, is when you've taken out the key. The key goes back in, and you can do this from the outside, and you just kind of feel where it's at. And if you haven't done it right, it won't move. So you have to pull it out again and try again, and then it moves. As you can see it's uh, rough hewn lumber, very cool inside here. I'd say it's probably at least 15 degrees colder in here than it is outside. You can see that moss has been used again to stop any of the air gaps. And at the back we have a draft tube. The draft tube goes all the way out and allows for a cool current. Another earth cellar here at the Kermaterhof has a tube that runs underneath the ground, comes to the back, and there's a small stream that's been guided to take it out, thereby cooling the air that comes back in and cools the earth cellar. Another brilliant idea here at the Kermaterhof, showing us how to preserve food, as well as create construction that is functional, safe, and aesthetically beautiful. Jabin Bernakovich, be fruitful, multiply.